Václav Hladký. Very good on both feet. Something I noticed in the warm-up. He was using both his left and his right foot. Something I hadn't noticed on Tuesday, but have now. Salford break on the right-hand side. Brandon thomas Asante trying to get round Burgess. Does get the cross into back post. Henderson's there. Heads down, heads wide. First chance of the game for Salford. Still 0-0. Pritchard with the right foot is the favourite. He does hit it like that, and it's saved by Haladki. Palm down. Arriving was Callum Johnson. But free kick given in Salford's favour. Big season ahead for Brandon Thomas Asante, you feel? Yeah, he's one of the exciting players in this squad, and you know what he could go on to become. He's a huge prospect after a good breakout season for Salford last season. I remember vividly how well he played at Boundary Park around Christmas time as well, and you're hoping he can push on and progress from that. Threlkeld whips across him from the right. It does come via Tom Sassante to Henderson. As he diverted the ball goalward straight at Tony Savin. Solf looks to defend this corner now. Taken short by Accrington. Comes down to the right-hand side. Now look, Johnson forward and field into Allen. Allen with the cross the back post. Sykes gets free and he should be hitting the target from there. Got clear of his man. Rounds at the back post and then heading down. Past the post from that range, it's unforgivable, really. The status of the final is still postponed. We haven't had any further update from the FL as to when the game might be, but they are committed that it will be played and tickets are still valid for the rearranged match once the date is announced. If it's announced and you then can't make it, there will be refunds available uh, via the ticket office and we'll make that clear on the website as and when there is action to take. But for now... It does still, unfortunately, remain postponed as Hunter gets the ball on his right, shoots from distance, and wasn't a bad effort, really. Keeper slightly unsighted. The United Under-21's game stands out as an interesting fixture for Salford, given Salford's owners that the United Academy is where the Class 92 was born, of course. Now the club that they own play against the academy where they began. It's probably a marked fixture in their calendar as well. Again, that again will be um, available to watch on our streaming service for £10. Zacharyton win the ball back high up field. Cross goes in, it's dealt with by Turnbull, but given away to Barkley, who stabs a shot wide. Uh, Butcher, sorry, not Barkley. And it will be a goal kick to Salford. Now the bookies starting to place the odds and place the bets, and Salford turning up as favourite for a few. It's not unfounded. Yeah, I think that's the target for Salford this year. They're setting their sights on playoffs, or well, they're probably setting their sights on automatic promotion. And Here come Accrington. I like he's made himself big, and the referee has given a penalty to Accrington. He's given the penalty for the late challenge by Golden. We're coming up against Ryan Cassidy from 12 yards to give Accrington the lead in this pre season friendly. A long run up on his right foot, sends Halaki the wrong way. Very powerfully struck, well hit penalty. And Accrington take the lead here at the Peninsula Stadium. Yeah, he made no mistakes with that penalty. That was no joke as he rifled it in the top right hand corner. And it's a really difficult one to call. Tranmere might be a good shout. I think Bradford take my liking for the Salford's real competitors for those automatic promotion spots for next season. Obviously. As I say, things can always happen. There's going to be multiple teams challenging. No one ever really runs away with the league in League Golden two. breaking away on the right-hand side. Gets the touchline and the cross comes in and Armstrong. The stanchion behind the goal still rattling from that shot. Plenty of power. It's not quite the accuracy, but no doubt if that was a little bit lower, that would have been the equaliser. Again, not coming from much. Good ball by Lowe, Threlkow now to Torre. Torre into the middle, Armstrong again with the chance. With the outside of his boot, I think benefits of the doubt as the referee sees. As that one goes wide, it's actually a corner for Salford. It's Golden now, surging forward. Gets past his man, still going onto his right foot. Shot blocked in the uh, sensitive area, I think it's fair to say, by Hughes. But Andrade now coming in the second wave onto his left, hits the shot straight down the throat of Liam Isherwood. It's uh, Isherwood now with the free kick. I make it 90 minutes on my watch as Lee Doughty checks his, blows the full time whistle, and that brings Salford City's pre season to a close. Narrow defeat to Accrington Stanley, the goal coming from the penalty spot in the 52nd minute. 
Other than that, there really wasn't that much to separate the sides. There wasn't much in the way of chances. I mean, Václav Halaki's hardly had anything to do apart from being in possession. So the chances for Salford, Luke Armstrong, Ian Henderson have each had one or two. Uh, Richie Towell as well with a long-range effort. But, you know, not too much in it. And I suppose the real proof in the pudding is going to be a week today against Rotherham and two weeks today against Exeter City.